Hey guys, let's jump straight into it. So, to make the filament print align before you um, start printing, so as you can see here, if I press paper print, it has a line that's going across here. Um, I struggled to do this for my makeup art. Um, there was a f another tutorial which I found that didn't really help, so I'm going to show you what my code looks like. So if you go into uh, edit process settings and go up to scripts, <coughs> sorry, and then go down to where it will say default step of uh, the refs and then zero extruder. There will be a part here that says like purge nozzle or um, something along those lines. Um, so for me, it says position nozzle and then prepared, uh, then it says GX. 100 y negative 65 and then I put prepare to extrude which is it's going to that place on the print bed and then g1 x negative 120 and y negative 65 with an extrusion rate sorry extrusion ex, eh, extrusion rate of 15 and a speed of 1200 so that's basically it extruding the line then and then it finishes the startup code and then it'll move to the next one. So um, what I will do is I'll leave this in the description if you want to copy it. But I'll basically kind of like walk through what it is. So this one basically on the video I've seen, um, he basically doesn't write the z-axis and there's no showing of the z-axis. Um, but as you can see up here on mine, it says it already is putting the, the z-axis to 0 0.4. Um, just, so just make sure you keep that bit. Um, I'm going to quickly copy this. And actually show you what it would have looked like if um, you've just fresh installed a MakerBot 2. So if you go to go to help, and then go on to configuration system. So when you first get it, you'll have this. Lots to pick from. I'm going to go down to MakerBot. Make a bot two, and then press next, and then press finish, and that'll completely rename that whole process. So that's exactly what you'd get. You'd get. So you just click edit process, go to scripts, just like I've done, and then yeah, here it is. It says G one seventy. Um, it says that basically. So what you want to do is get rid of this whole bit there because that's a load of crap if I've ever seen it. Um, let me just get rid of it. And then just press and then basically just copy what I put online um, in the description and then just press control V and it will paste it in there and it should do it properly. Um, and that's all you have to do for that. Um, and also I've noticed that if you add a celebration wound to uh, like celebration at the end of the build it will play the default one and the random song which is it ends up sounding really really weird and messed up so if you go if you want if you want to get rid of that if you go on to ending scripts and then it says see here it says play tada song just get rid of that and then it, it won't play anymore basically and then you can add like a little celebration ring tone um, if you want, do have a maker bot too um, I really suggest um, doing changing some of these settings. So to stop stringing massively, I turn these on. Um, I change the wipe distance for about four. Uh, the coasting distance uh, can stay at two. Attract speed. Uh, traction distance. I'm gonna put it up as like four, just to make sure it's retracted fully. Um, so I'll be doing that quite quickly. And then if you go on to additions, um, if you go on to use raft, if you want the raft to come away much easier um, from, from the actual part itself, you'll want to change this one. Okay, so at right now it's a separation distance between the bottom player and the actual part. And so the top layer of the raft and the bottom layer of the part is 0.14 mil. I like to really, like, I'm up to about 1.5. I did used to have it at, at almost 3. But the prints came out quite weird. Um, some of them were beautiful and they print they came out really well, but um, some of them also didn't. So also, if you go on to infill, no, uh, 
uh, support, sorry. Um, and then if you want to generate support, like um, lots of support overhangs and things such as that, if you want those ones to come off um, with a bit more ease, um, you just change this one as well. Um, so as you can see, uh, it modifies the separation distance between the support structure and the part outline. Okay, so all you have to do is change that as well, um, and it will make it a bit easier to come away for cleaning up prints, as it literally states there. So I normally put a lot of 0.6, um, and they normally come away quite fairly easy. I don't see them much point because they come away easy enough as it is. And then uh, I always set the temperature. They set the temperature here at 230, even though here it says 200. So if you want to change the temperature, just double click that, and then change it to 200. Sorry. <coughs> and then press OK. And then that's your print setting is done. And if you go into prepared print, if you're not sure whether you've done the G code correctly, just click uh, prepare to print. And then if you have done it correctly, uh, you'll see a line going across the front. Um, if you want to change extrusion speed, um, you can. So the line is it doesn't use up as much filament. Or if you don't want to change, like if you want to make the line not as long, just literally go onto the scripts again. Um, and then see what it says, the X, just make that number smaller, so instead of going from 100 to a negative 120, just change it from like, just change it to like 100 to um, one a negative 100, so if I change that to 100 like that, and press OK, and then press prepare to print, it's slightly shorter, not a lot, but it's slightly shorter. So, um, but I prefer to just do the full amount. Um, and then, if you want to change the extrusion speed, just change this. Um, some people have it at 12.5. I have it at 15, just because it really does purge the nozzle. Whereas if I set, if you put it in any lower, it doesn't really do a, a very good job. So that's why I have it like that. Okay, YouTube. So I like to stop this video before I start coughing again. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much.